What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool. Today we're gonna to check out the grand opening of Methods Machine here in Illinois. Brand new facility, this is gonna be really exciting. There's a bunch of new brands to check out, some awesome demos. We're also gonna check out Methods Machine's own line of CNC's they're launching. Super excited to check that out. Why don't we go inside and take a look? You just told me that this place is so new that the first time you stepped foot in here was yesterday. That's true. How many square foot is this place? Uh, so we're at 36,000 square feet in our portion of the building. Amazing, and you got a warehouse here, as you can see behind us, is enormous. There's a demonstration room, and there's also offices as well. Yep. And I did see there's, you're launching a new parts warehouse? Correct, and then of course our showroom right now, we have 23 machines up and running right now on demonstration showcasing everything from our multitasking lays to the vertical machining centers to some precision stuff. So. And you guys have your own machines in there, which I'm really Correct. excited to take a look at. <laughs> we went through every stage of the machine to figure out what our customers need and what we've seen with some of our other world-class builders. We work with Fanic, Yazda, Nakamura Tome. We work with the best builders in the world. So we took our knowledge from those long-standing partnerships and put that into our own machine line. Can't wait to take a look. Thank you very much. Great seeing you. Cody. Cody is the, I'm going to make sure I get this right, <laughs> National Engineering Machining Manager. He's the guy that's responsible for, you're going to see a bunch of cool demos here, the Statue of Liberty, yep. the Mandalorian, all the really cool demos I hear. You're the guy. I am the guy, yeah. So we did the Thinking Man, the Statue of Liberty, and then the Mandalorian here. We've done some other cool ones, the Credible Hall. How did you get into this role? I, I locked into it, job. to be So I, I used to run um, Machine Shop, Job Shop for, God, I've been doing this now for 14 years. Wow. Um, and I was just like, you know what, I want to see the other side of it. Reached out and before he knew it I was here and all of a sudden you're doing all the really fun and stuff. And they just threw it at me, yeah. Now, you do do the stuff that's not just the fun stuff Always, as well. Yeah. Cuz I hear that you can actually if you're coming to buy a machine, you can come bring a part that you're having an issue with and you guys will help yeah. people do that. We do turn keys, we do time studies if someone's like, "Hey, I've done this with this machine. Can you can you beat it?" Well, let's see what we can do. Now, the one thing I know we wanted to talk about today was this machine behind me. It is the Yazda PX30i. Yeah, so it's a full 5 axis. It's uh, ISO of uh, 2 microns, so it can hold Jeez. positioning great. Um, I have a soft spot for it. I ran six of these back in the day. Wow. I fell in love with them. So it's a 33 pallet changer machine. 33? Uh, 33. While it's running, I can load, move, whatever I want. It's all in the background. Right where that Statue of Liberty is. Right where that is. Statue That's of Liberty is. And yep. over here is the actual machine. Yeah, so you center. got the machine here, and then behind it, you got the 323 tool changer. And 323. Then you can, yeah, and you can upgrade to five. 15 or something? To, Just in case you need a couple more tools. Believe it or not, I maxed them out a few times. This is crazy. What is the max footprint you can put in for a It a is 12.4 by 14.3. That's pretty big. It's a good size, yeah. And weight, you have not really restricted too much? 178 pounds, I think. That's quite it's a something bit. Something insane, yeah. Quite yeah I've, never, I've never had any issues with that. That's amazing. Well, thank you very much for giving us a look at this. I can't wait. We're trying, gonna get some shots of what that machine's doing. Thank you very yeah, much. No, I appreciate it, thank you. Appreciate it. A micron D. So I'm here with Nick. Nick, How are what you? do you do here? I'm the product manager for our Methods branded machine. So, so this is your own branded machine yes, here at Methods. Absolutely. How long have you guys had these? We've had this since 2018. This oh month, really? We realized we needed a product of our own, built to our specifications, because the market is flooded with, you know, Me Too machines. So we said that's nice, but we're up here. Everything else we sell is top of its class, right. and there was nothing else out there that met that standard. So we designed our own. Now, what are the highlights of this machine? This is the MB650U. Yep. Uh, so the highlights here are obviously full five axis. It's got a Fanuc 31 IMB5 control. 
with their absolute top end fast package three. So and Fanuc, what does that do? So Fanuc basically said, we know what five axis is, but we got to put together a package so that we can go to a new shop owner and say, here's everything you need. Here's all the software, it's in there. And the machine itself weighs 19,400 pounds. Oh, so it's literally thousands of pounds heavier than anything else in its class. And for those who don't know, why do we love heavy? Heavy means stable, accurate, and long time cutting surfaces. If you're just getting into five axis, right. there's nothing else to buy. Conveyor, coolant management is here, the loaded control we talked about. You're getting everything at once. Everything. Because you're not building them to spec, yep. you literally just order this machine. What's delivery on one of these today? We we stock everything. It's completely stocked. Absolutely. So we actually have these built by our partner, Litz High Tech out of Taiwan. Right. So they're a long time machine tool builder, but what they're building is our specification. Right. You're not just buying an off the shelf, no. slapping a sticker on it. No, no, no. Good. We, we have so many years of people's experience and customers and engineers like Cody's all right. dumped into this to get the best that we possibly can. It's really crazy. looking forward to checking these out. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now, I was just chatting with Matt and he was saying that these, what makes these machines really, really unique is that they're expandable. Yes. So this particular model is our typical 400 millimeter horizontal. What makes it unique is the customer can buy the asset now with two pallets and 60 tools. And if the product changes and they're mixed, we can add a six or an eight pallet machine in the field in about three days. Now, how often when you're putting these out in the field are people upgrading from like a two to a four? Is that a pretty Almost common? 40 to 45% now. Oh, really? Especially last year with COVID, people didn't have enough people to run the machines. They had a pallet changer, they went from running eight hours to now 16, 17 hours unattended. So oh, big, big it. plus, so you made a lot of money. Yeah, exactly, you can do more with less yeah. and that, that kind of forced people into yes. the pallet game because yeah. otherwise it was sit there with a dead spindle. Correct. And I have to ask you here, Sure. with this controller, I see four different coolant pumps. Correct, so you have a main coolant pump that you go around the spindle, you have a coolant through pump through the uh, tool itself. Oh, it's got through coolant. Yes, it does, standard. And then we have overhead flush system for two different pump situations. Woo. This thing's designed to just, if you long you feed it, it's gonna keep on running. And that's where you make money. And as long as you got a place to put the chips. Yes. Bernie, thank you very oh, much. Thank you very much. some of the things we're most excited about today here. What we're excited about with the robo drill is the reliability, the speed, the functionality, and the limited downtime with the robo drill. What is the typical footprint of a robo drill? What's the smallest, what's the biggest we can go to? So the, the footprint of the robo drill is actually similar for all three platforms. Okay. It's super small. Uh, you're probably looking at six feet maybe by three feet, four feet wide. So they're nice compact they're nice machine. compact. And what's the standard spindle on these? Are there spindle options or are we... There's two options. There's a 10K spindle and a 24K spindle. Yes. And with that 24, you're definitely going to want a mist buster on it. Absolutely, you have to. Yep, exactly. And what kind of coolant do you guys like running in these right now? Anything is okay with the robo drill. Synthetic? Uh, yep. Are there any issues or any tricks to avoid uh, rigidity issues or vibration, or no. do you guys have pretty good damping in these? No, it's pretty good. The, the Robo Drill itself, uh, with the BT30 dual contact holder, is pretty rigid. Box ways. Uh, it's an excellent machine, really, on all ways. Yep. Well, thank you very much for showing us. We're going to keep taking a look around. Hopefully, we can catch you again while we're here. Excellent. Good thank you very much. Thanks. All right. Matt, thank you very much for having us today. Thank you guys for coming out. What do we have to look forward to in the coming year from Methods? We had a lot to look forward to. I mean, we're going to have booths at every single one of the tech shows. We have an open house coming up in October at our uh, Phoenix office as well as our LA office. So be on the lookout for that as well. And we have a lot of other really exciting announcements coming up that we will be announcing in the next couple months. But nothing you can't tell gonna, us yet. Nothing of we're going to tease ah. out yet, but we have a lot of really big announcements. And that really ties into a lot of what we talked about today. Expanded Parts Depot. Mm -hmm. We triple the size of this office. It's about getting closer to our customers, 
and really helping show them why Methods is engineered for results. It's from the machines to the apps to the service, we're there for our customers. Total package. Where can we find you online? Do you guys have socials? We do have socials. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. People look for Methods Machine, we're going to find you. You can find us at Methods Machine Tools, and then you can find us online at MethodsMachine.com. Sounds great. Thanks again. You have a great day. Wonderful meeting you. So there you have it guys. That was the grand opening of Methods Machine's new location. I really enjoy going and checking out some of that new technology. Some of it is stuff that is way too advanced for what I'm doing right now, but hopefully some of it is gonna be applicable to me in the near future. For some of you guys, I'm sure you use this stuff all the time and I hope you got to see something that was exciting. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Um, we do read them, I do check them out and I'd like to know what you guys would like us to focus on moving forward as we go check out more shops, as we go check out more sales locations and industrial tool sellers like this. Thanks as always for watching guys, you take care.